Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Bertrand Fenax. I'm head of the Service de la Biodiversité of the Canton of Geneva. And I'd like to show you a little bit about the biodiversity of the Canton of Geneva. We have started a biodiversity strategy to help keeping this very rich biodiversity in our canton. And obviously, this strategy is linked to the ODD uh, points, uh, especially the one keeping fauna and flora alive on terrestrial and aquatic habitats. We also have linked the strategy with the issues about climate. Uh, very shortly show that Geneva, Geneva is a very little canton in the middle of Europe, but also to show that for many people, uh, Geneva seems, seems to be only a city, a big city, an international city, very nice city, but the canton of Geneva is much more. The canton of Geneva actually has about two thirds of its territory, which is agriculture, forest, lake and rivers, and only one third actually is urban area. And so we can well understand that biodiversity, which is actually everywhere, is especially located in two thirds of the, this canton. We can also uh, notice that there is half a million people living in this very small canton and half a million more all around. And that is a very big pressure on biodiversity. Here we can see that there is many, many different species, a big variety of flora and fauna, and sometimes very rare species in our canton because of this diversity of habitat. And a few of them I can show you here are very small. Some are very colorful. Some are actually very uh, specific of the canton of Geneva. And we can have in the case, for example, of the little owl, one of the biggest population of Switzerland. Also, this slide will show that when we do some works in the field, especially uh, with agriculture and ecological networks, we can improve biodiversity. That's the status of those these bird species uh, when we started the monitoring in 1991. And after uh, 20 years, we can see that many of these species that are linked to agriculture that need hedges and trees and so on that have, we have been able to improve. Also, the species react very well and we can have very big um, um, population of those species. Uh, I must also say that we had actually started this program to save the gray partridge, which didn't manage. But on the other hand, there was a lot of benefits. And so one project doesn't uh, work well, uh, can have lots of collateral benefits either. Some species have been reintroduced very successfully in, in, in the canton, especially the beaver, like in the 1950s, the 60s, there were no beavers yet. And uh, now uh, we have many beavers all over the canton. The beaver is very happy and uh, we too, actually. And uh, we are very lucky too that he doesn't make too much uh, um, troubles for um, uh, the people who live next to the rivers. This uh, pond terrapin is also a very good example where we have relocated populations in new uh, revitalized uh, marshes. Most species uh, thrive then uh, luckily in these places too. More surprisingly, we have uh, been able to spot a couple of otters last year. Uh, they, they come, they go, uh, they are not uh, fixed in the canton yet, but uh, they, once in a while we can see them with some cameras. And a few weeks ago, we even have the chance to see a wolf in one of our forests, uh, Le Bois de Jussy, which is one of the very uh, uh, wild forests in Canton, as far as we can call this uh, white wild habitat. But biodiversity is also a common species and uh, in the urban area or in the places where we have some houses, individual houses, houses, there is also lots of species that we try to promote by other um, uh, valorization of structures, again, such as hedges and, and, and prairies and so on. 
uh, which what is very important actually is to have habitats of good quality. Here you have a few pictures again of the canton of Geneva. It's not pictures from somewhere else. Uh, we have all these habitats. Uh, uh, is it dry land, wetlands, uh, marshes, uh, and so on, all over the country, the, the canton. And this is uh, especially interesting and important to have all these species around. And to keep those habitats uh, in the canton, we have a green infrastructure, what we call l'infrastructure logique, with some hotspots, there are reserves, uh, some corridors to make the, that the, the species can move uh, and, and, and reach each other. And there are also barriers that we have to uh, remove with some eco bridges. And also in the urban area, again, there is a lot of work on uh, new natural habitats that are uh, re reinforced and, and, and put in place uh, when there is transformation of our um, city. Another important point is the light pollution. Many of the species actually li live during the night. And you can see a picture with the lake back and, and all these spots of lights uh, in the canton. Um, what we try to do is to have a map, uh, a, a night map actually, and uh, to identify the corridors, the dark corridors and night reserves that are necessary for these species. And so we work very much with the communes and uh, the, the enterprises that work with light to try to diminish and sometimes even to remove some of those uh, lamps and some of those light sources to uh, make uh, new uh, corridors and to restore actually those corridors. Another challenge is the other the ecosystem services. Uh, biodiversity is very important as such because there are species and we like them and we need to hear them and so on. But many of these uh, species and these hab habitats actually provide services, what we call ecosystem services, and they are vital for our society. And so, although this slide is in French, I'm sorry, we can see that there is the uh, work for security, the work for stability uh, when there is lots of rain, they provide the fresh air, they provide uh, food when there's polliniz pollinization with the insects. Well, there's lots of those services that are actually done by biodiversity and is that's for that's why it's very important to to keep that biodiversity and also one maybe more uh, uh, another point is that uh, with this uh, covid situation uh, we have many people that actually go into the rural area to find some quiet places to to be able to go for a walk and so on and that's also an, a very important issue uh, for uh, biodiversity uh, but the canton of Geneva, as you have seen, is very small and more nearly 90% or even more of the border is with France. And, and so we have to work together with our neighbors and find solutions because species, they don't stop at the border. And we have uh, many projects and very programs that we work together with our uh, colleagues from the other side of the border. And these are very important, actually, to make the whole thing uh, again uh, across the borders. And uh, again, uh, example like, like eco bridges over big highways are uh, one way to uh, help to uh, add animals to move from the from the plain actually uh, towards the mountain that are all actually around the canton and not in the canton. And finally, it's important to remember that um, the climate is very much an issue that is linked to biodiversity. Uh, why? Because as you can see here, we expect that in uh, less than 100 years, we will have the same climate in Geneva that it is now the, the case in Sicily or, or also Italy. And therefore, we have to prepare this. And uh, by having populations of species with a big resilience capable to uh, adapt or to have corridors, ecological corridors that help those species to move, the one from the south to come to uh, to us and others maybe to move either into the mountains or higher up north uh, is very important and this is also part of this uh, uh, green infrastructures so that's all what we have in this strategy and this action plan um, and it's important for such a strategy to be able to know what's going on to be able to monitor also the improvements to enrich in the fields uh, with uh, specific projects such as renovation and so on to keep those ecosystem services 
And then obviously it's important to promote uh, the, the value of this biodiversity to try to involve more and more the population that they find a sense why we do this promotion of the biodiversity and that's especially with the ecosystem services. We have at the bottom the links to the strategy and action plan and also to a story map that explains the infrastructure, the green infrastructure. So that's in a few words why we have to protect biodiversity. I will not read all the slides, but you see that it's lots about health, about uh, economy, about uh, uh, food. So it's not only about having a, a wolf or having orchids in our garden, it's a much more bigger issue. And, uh, and uh, there is also an urgency. And so we have now to put in place this action plan until the, uh, 2023. 2023 and then the strategy until 2030. And uh, what is very important in all this issue is to know that the success is not only very visible, and that's probably what is difficult for people to join in because they don't see that when they do something uh, in favor of biodiversity, you don't always very quickly or you do, maybe don't see it even. even. So uh, we have to keep them motivated and that's what we do also, uh, what we want also to do with this strategy. I thank you for your attention and I'm very happy to have been able to show you this, this beautiful richness of our canton and invite you to come and visit uh, anytime. Thank you very much.